State your name, sir. Uh, yes, my name is Jim Jalsma. Did you uh, drop in for some devil's food cake or what? What's no, on no, we're. Uh, I first of all, how do I address you? Well, you can call me Mr. Reverend Anton by my first name, whatever. Well, term I'll, you I'll state the Mr. to begin right. with. First of all, I, I'll say one thing: you have a lot of followers, and you're right. <laughs> oh yes, uh, you're right about the devil being a god because the Bible clearly states that the devil is the the uh, god of this world and he's also the prince of the power of the air. So I don't dispute you on this matter at all. My only Are we picking up a new recruit here? <laughs> <laughs> My only question is this a question basically about death. Personally, I don't think it's a, a funny matter uh, whether you're really sincere in what you believe or whether you are uh, just doing this to gain followers. I mean, it's a pretty serious thing. First of all, uh, everyone dies physically, but you're right. Again, everyone does not die spiritually. And I'd just like to ask you, what do you think is the concept of God? What is your concept of God? What does God do? Is he, uh, in other words, we visualize God as being the ruler of everything that is good and proper. In other words, his attributes are love and, uh, and his almightiness, omnipotence, uh, omnipresence, and so forth. And of course, we recognize that God has given to this world many wonderful things. Just look at all the, the as far as uh, paintings and the uh, literature that's inspired by God, the, the tremendous things that you see in, in all over the world that God has inspired through literature and music and art. What has the devil given to this world along the lines of, of what we consider as good and proper and just? Yeah, what have you done lately? <laughs> well, certainly you're right. The, uh, the concept of God has given the world much beautiful music, many beautiful works of art, and certainly I feel God exists. But the name for God, of course, is uh, different for many different people. And I feel that God is that force. Whatever God one chooses to pray to or to command, in the case of Satanism, rather than pray, I feel whatever God exists should be the God that carries a person along, that carries them through, mm -hmm. that well, makes them a better person, that makes them live a better life and a naturally a more pleasant life. So, and I feel that you have to be kind to yourself, indulgent to yourself before you know what it's like to be kind to others. True. Now, you brought up one thing about pride. Now, do you think this is uh, a bad thing? No, I think pride is a very good thing. Of you have course, to understand, he likes sin, you see. These things are all euphemisms for, and I feel, rules that are ensured to be broken by the church. Listen, when your wife crawls over that line to say good morning to you, does she refer to you as Beelzebub, or how does she address you? Depends on what, on what mood she happens to be in. Is she also a satanic type? Oh, yes. She yes. approves of all of this? Certainly. She wouldn't be around if she didn't. And how do you make your living? Uh, as uh, a counselor, sorcerer, practicing wizard, shaman, warlock, whatever you wish to call it. You're also a male witch, a warlock. Well, a male witch is considered a warlock, yeah. You're, but I you, don't you consider... You claim to be a witch, then? Uh, a you male wish. witch, certainly, but not a white witch, not like some of these people that have been on various shows that bend over backwards trying to convince everyone how good they are. They never perform black magic, only white magic. I think this is ridiculous. Could you make that man disappear out of the dock? Out of the dock? Yeah. Why should I want to? I well, could... because we have somebody else coming up. <laughs> of course I can't make him disappear because I am naturally cast in the mold of a human being, and I think this Wanna is... Want to bet? It <laughs> might be... Less human and more Mephistophelian to me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I call him a devil. He's complimented. <laughs>